Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Rizwan bin Ismail Today I'm going to perform a lab test for oil and debris So the first task is uh, to choose a brand uh, oil gear or gear oil that has same grade on the internet So my opinion is uh, Castrol API uh, GL490 so the properties for this gear oil the density is 0 0.895 uh, gram per millimeter and the pore point is negative 6 celsius and viscosity, viscosity index is uh, 96 and flash point is 282 degrees Celsius. So I already attached the link in the uh, in the document. And then the second task is uh, to figure it out on the figure one, uh, the gearbox condition. So base on my ob observation uh, the gearbox is not enough uh, lubricant or the loop itself uh, already contaminate so the type of wear condition or the type of wear is adhesive adhesive wear uh, and it is a smearing wear so how this type of where appears uh, it appears when two surfaces slide and the lubricant cannot prevent adhesion of the surface uh, other than that uh, pieces of one are torn away so uh, the surface slides into each other and that is the where appears so the shape of adhesive wear is usually uh, platelets and flakes so we move uh, to question number three which is based on oil properties and the specification of the oil in task one select type of oil properties that you feel important to begin your oil analysis so based on my opinion uh, i will start i will start uh, my testing with pore point so uh, for your information uh, the pore point of an oil is the lowest temperature at which of the oil will just flow when it is cool so when oil ceases to flow this indicates uh, I'm sorry uh, when oil ceases to flow this indicates that sufficient wax crystallization has occurred or that the oil has reached a highly viscous state at this stage, waxes or high molecular weight paraffin precipitate from the oil. So, the wax from the interlocking crystal that prevent the remaining oil from flowing. So, I think this is the important properties to test with. So, um, next we will move into question number four uh, it states that uh, I need to establish uh, procedures to analyze the property state in task 3 so I already choose four point uh, for my testing so the the right or the suitable standard test method for pore point is ASTM 
D97 and I already attached uh, the sketch for the apparatus that I need to do this test so we will move to procedure or how to how to do or how to perform this test so the first thing uh, the specimen will be poured into the test jar to the level mark uh, then the the specimen will heat it to ensure the solution of all ingredients and elimination of any influence of the path terminal treatment and then uh, close the test jar with the cork uh, carrying the high pore thermometer the sample then uh, and then the sample will be cooled at a specific rate and as I mean at the intervals of 3 degrees Celsius for the flow characteristics by tiling by tilting the container to check for any movement the temperature uh, 3 degrees Celsius above the point at which the oil stop moving is recorded as the pore point so when the specimen reach the 3 degrees Celsius or above and the specimen and the I mean the thermometer when the thermometer reach 3 degrees Celsius above or at any point when the thermometer stops the that is the pore point so we need to record the temperature okay next is question number five so it states that if the result of the analysis that i obtained in question number three and four are abnormal or out of control uh, I need to explain the significance of the result and state my next step. So, is so if the result is abnormal, we need to move to another method. 